Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot, very pleased today to be joined by one of the newest members of the Blue Jackets, Brandon Dubinsky, who was just acquired earlier in the week from the New York Rangers in the Rick Nash trade. Brandon, you've had a couple of days now for things to sink in. First of all, were you taken by surprise when the trade finally went down? And after those couple of days, what are your thoughts about the deal? Well, I think initially you're always surprised. I don't think uh, you ever expect to get traded after you know being with one team for so long. Um, and then obviously there was a few deadlines that sort of passed with the trade deadline, and then the draft kind of happened, free agency started, and um, so I, yeah, I was a little bit uh, taken by surprise. But you know, after having a few days to think about it and uh, you know take it in and, and talk to some of the guys here, um, you know, I'm real excited for the opportunity here and to come to Columbus and and play with some guys that I know um, from previous teams and, um, and from playing with them um, in New York and haven't already come along. So I'm really excited for the opportunity here. When you talk about some of those guys, you played in the World Championships and uh, guys like James Wisniewski, uh, Jack Johnson, uh, you've gotten to know a little bit. Nick Felino was your roommate, actually, a couple yes, of years ago when you were playing in the World Championships. So how much easier does it make it when there are three or four guys that – will call you or you can call them and you can get a feel about a situation and a city before you ever show up. Yeah, it's nice. Um, you know, I, I've, had a, I've had conversations with each of those guys that you mentioned. Um, you know, like I said, walking into a locker room, um, knowing some guys, it's always easier. Um, you know, it's a, it, it takes like, you know, a little bit of that uh, nervousness out of you um, to walk into, you know, some familiarity and uh, you know, the conversations that I've had, um, you know, I was able to talk with, like you said, Nick was my, my roommate, and, and he's new here, but I had a conversation with him about the city, and um, he came in and found a place and, and looked around for a week, so, and uh, he had nothing but great things to say, and um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to, uh, to come here and, and do it myself. Another guy that you know very well from your time with the Rangers is Vinny Prospel, who joined this team last year. Uh, what does it mean to you to get to play on the same team as Vinny again? It's great. I mean, uh, you know, Vinny is, uh, you know, a true competitor. He's a, he's a leader, and, uh, you know, you wouldn't know how many years he's been in the league or how old he is by, by, the, way he, um, by the way he acts and he carries himself. Um, you know, he's, a, like I said, a professional and, uh, and a leader, but at the same time he has that lo uh, youthful energy and enthusiasm about him, and, um, you know, so I'm excited to get the opportunity to play with him again. Coming here, you're a versatile guy. That's one of the things that Scott Housen talked about. You can be a centerman, you can be a winger. Uh, you've done both. Uh, do you have anything that that you hope comes into play here? It, or are you just coming in with your eyes wide open, willing to do whatever it takes to help this team win? Yeah, I think it's the latter. Um, you know, it's I, th I had a bit of a tougher, tougher year last year, and so, um, you know, coming here kind of gives me a fresh start and a clean slate. And... Uh, you know, like I said, looking at the roster and the guys that we have here, it's, you know, we have a youthful group that uh, you know, seems energetic and seems excited through the conversations that I've had with some of the players here about the upcoming season, and, and I'm approaching it the same way. I'm excited for the opportunity, and I'm excited to, uh, you know, as you said, do anything I can to try and help this team win, no matter, you know, like I said, if it's playing center, playing wing, or um, defensively, offensively, whatever it takes. You also come into a situation where, I think a lot of people from the outside don't have a lot of expectations of this team. Uh, as you look at it, and you talk about the youthfulness here, the willingness to win, uh, you know there's definitely a culture change going on. How good do you think that this team can be in a short period of time? Yeah, I was just uh, you know, at lunch with a few of the uh, hockey operations guys, and you know, that was one thing that I, that I said was you know, looking at the roster and, and knowing some of these guys, you know, I don't think that we want to look at this as a process. I think we want to look at it as uh, an opportunity. And, uh, you know, we have some great young forwards uh, mixed in with some, some veteran for forwards with, uh, you know, Prospel and Umberger. And, you know, we have a strong back end with, again, some, some younger guys and, and some veteran guys. So, um, you know, I think we have a, a good opportunity to su surprise some people. And I think, you know, if we go out and, and play as a team and, and and play the way I think that this team is capable of just based on how it's built, um, you know, we're, we can be a good hockey team. And I want to ask you one last thing about the two guys that come along with you in Tim Erickson and uh, Artem Anisimov. Uh, you know them well, especially Anisimov. What are those, those two guys going to bring to this club too? 
Well, first off with Artie, um, yeah, I've, I know him extremely well. I've, I've played on his line. Um, you know, I had my best, my best career season with him um, on my line. Um, I was playing the wing, he was centering me, but, um, you know, he's a guy that, uh, you know, he, he competes and, and he plays every night and, and uh, you know, at the same time, I think, you know, he brings a little bit of size, he brings, um, you know, some offensive skill and, 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 a, and a great shot. So I think um, with that, he'll, he'll, he'll definitely contribute offensively um, without sacrificing, um, you know, his defensive zone because he certainly knows how to play there and has penalty killed and, and is responsible. All right. Well, it is uh, great to have you in town. I know it's been kind of a, a whirlwind thing for you trying to get acclimated to what's going on all at one time, but thank you for taking a couple yes. of minutes for us. and. Uh, Look forward to seeing a lot of you very soon. Thank you very much. That's Brandon Dubinsky, one of the newest members of the Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm Bob McElligot. Thanks for watching Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health.